Now here we are going to start with your Azure Backup. So you might have taken the backup automatically for your virtual machines over here. We have taken the snapshots. We have recovered the data or the virtual machine using our snapshot disk. Now here we are going to take a manual backup into your Azure. We are going to see how we can create a manual backup for the virtual machines or for the databases we generally have. So let us talk about your manual backup into your Azure with the help of your Azure Backup. So Azure Backup is an Azure base or Azure base service which we can use to backup or protect your data. And same way we can restore your data into your Microsoft Cloud itself. Same way your Azure Backup offers multiple components that you can use or download or deploy to the appropriate computers or the virtual machine from where you want to restore this particular backup. Now what if we compare this with your traditional backup which you do on your on-premises servers. So if you talk about the traditional backup, what generally you do? Your traditional backup have a solutions where you can take the backup and restore the data. They have evolved to treat the cloud as an endpoint. Or you can use a static storage destination. So the static storage destination is like you are going to keep a fixed storage and a fixed location of the storage. Like for example, I have a server and I always keep my backup files into a tape drive which I have. So the tape drive is with me every time I store the data into it. But what if, if the tape drive get crashed? Or what if, if it get missed? The whole backup which I have taken will be collapsed here and we won't be able to restore anything if we require in future, right? So this kind of static storage destinations create a problem into your traditional backups. Same way, you are having a solution of your backup, which is very expensive. As said, I'm going to take the backup of my server into my tape drive. The space which is required to save the data or to save the backup of the data which I have stored on my tape drive or my servers will be again consuming huge amount of space or equal amount of space for storing the backup. So it will be very costly to maintain this particular backup and keep a space for storing this particular backup into your storages or specific static storage devices. And also because you end up paying for this wrong type of storages, as we know, we don't have integrity or surety of your backup or integrity of the data. So you are paying wrong over here or the storage that you don't need itself. Sometimes we don't require this kind of storages where generally we are going to keep the backup. For example, I have scaled my three servers. Now I am not using those servers. It is completely idle. Still it is idle. I can again use it as a keeping my backups into my on-premises server. But it is not required to do so, right? So this is the reason why we are moving towards your Azure cloud-based backup to lower down the cost of your backup and provide the data integrity so let us have a look on the features of your Azure Backup. So your Azure Backup provides you an automatic storage management. You have the storage management including where your data will be stored and your data will be backed up into multiple locations. It might be not only in your availability zone, not only into your regional zones. The data will be stored into multiple regions, multiple servers you have. It will ensure that you are going to get your data restored whenever you require. Next, you have unlimited scaling. You can scale your servers, you can back up your data into any of your storages as per the requirement needs. The storage will be scaled. Same way you have a multiple storage option. As I said, you have a different kind of storages. You have queue storage, you have blob storage, you have table format storages. You have file storages. You can keep the data into any of the storage. It's not limited that you need to keep the backup data only in the queue storage or only into the file systems. You can keep anywhere. You can backup any storage. You can unlimitedly transfer the data. So as said, if you are backing up the storage into from one storage location to other storage location, there is no limitation. You can back up the data. You can restore the data as the storage amount you have. You don't have to worry about the space limits or any kind of data transfer limit over here. 
your application consistence backup as i said you can also create an application consistent backup so that your application is available all the time you have a wrong time retentions and one more thing if you are keeping a backup how long you are going to keep the backup you might have heard in your organizations the backup are stored for 6 months or maximum 1 year if i want to pull the backup which is stored or which is taken into last 3 years or before 1 year i won't be able to get this backup but here it provides you a backup for longer duration till when you are not going to delete the backup manually you will be able to get this particular backup and you can restore this backup any time you require and also if i talk about your azure backup and benefits you have lot of backup benefits and less limits now here we talk about your azure backup which is called as mars agent you can use where you can take a backup of your files and folders on your physical or your virtual environment you can also create a os or backup your os of your virtual machines you have created into your azure you can also create a separate backup servers and if you don't require the separate backup servers you don't create this particular backup servers automatically it will backup into a some storages directly so you don't have to maintain any backup servers over here if we talk about your mars agent limit you can backup three times per day only so you cannot backup at the fourth time or fifth time so if you are doing scheduling or you are scheduling any kind of backup you can schedule only three times next no application aware file folder or volume level you don't have any kind of awareness of the files which you are going to store in which particular location you won't be aware of it no support for your linux operating system if you are using your mars agent Again, if I talk about your system center DPM, this is your data protection manager, which generally we have into your Azure. So it is a more you know important feature we have, and this you can use into your enterprise environment to keep the backup of your important or sensitive data. Here it provides you an application aware snapshots. So whenever you are going to create an applications, it will create snapshots of the applications. to ensure that your applications are also having the backup same way it will provide you a full flexibility for when to take the backups so you don't have any limits like you have you can take the backup only 3 times or 4 times you are flexible whenever you require how many times you require you can take the backup of different storages or different files you have you can recover all data any time you can also recover your service vaults now what is vault vault is again a storage location we know we have created a vault where we can store the data and if you have any vault you can also back up this vault and restore it any time you require it again supports your linux operating system as well as if we have created our virtual machines on your hyper v so your linux operating system is also supported by your dpm It also provides you a backup and restore of your VMware VMs as well. Also, you can support your DPM 2012 R2. Same way here, you cannot backup your Oracle workload. This is only the limitation you are having uh, when you are using your system center DPM. So these are the features, and these are the two different backups we generally use into your Azure. and we are going to see how we can use this particular backup and take the backup of our virtual machines and the databases into our portal so here you can create the backup of your application just move into your application which you want to take the backup and just move inside and search for the backup we want to create so you can see this is an option of backup you generally find into a setting go for backup configure your backup over here So into your backup, it's asking you uh, select the container to store your backup. So I'm going to store the backup into my existing container, which I have. That is my um, storage for training one. And once you have added this, it's asking you. So I'm just going to uh, select the other one. I'm going to use this one. Okay. So here we can create our own container. We can uh, use this container for keeping the backup. So this is the backup container I have created into my uh, storage, and I'm going to add this particular backup container. 
you can keep it as your blob storage your container your private node anonymous access will be provided to you for this particular device or this particular backup which you have created so click in OK it will be creating your um, backup container here it's just validating your backup container name so it is already in use so backup for applications I'm just going to provide it so okay, it's done click on OK or we can select our existing containers we generally have into our uh, the storages which we have created so I have this particular storage it's containing a container as your portal deploy I'm going to select this container here and then I'll be scheduling the backup so we can schedule the backup uh, and we can enable it every day I want the backup once a day and here we can schedule the backup at what time generally you require the backup this will be the date and this will be the timing from when I'm going to start the backup and the rotation number of days will be for 30 days so uh, the backup which we generally have taken it will be for um, it will keep at least one backup over here so you want to keep the backup yes I want to keep the one backup at least and then we can also define the uh, backup databases if you want to include it into your backup so we can we can include this backup into your um, SQL database MySQL database so right now we don't have any uh, no any connections with it because we don't have any SQL database and MySQL database found in this particular applications so we haven't connected a database connectivity for this application otherwise you will be able to take the backup of this databases as well so I'm going to save this so it has taken the backup you can see this is the backup which has been taken over here and this is the scheduled time and you can also get the backup history so whenever you have created a backup you have scheduled the backup once daily at the time so automatically it will take the backup and it will create the application history so you can see here this is the first backup which has been taken over here on this particular date right so uh, simultaneously every day it will take one one backup and it will list all the backups available over here